Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Today is a very exciting day in town. It's Gustin's first fishing tournament, and I'm ready to do some catching. Now, unlike the bug catching contests in the past, my pockets are not full of insects, uh, ready to unknowingly be fed to some bug-eyed chameleon. Nope. We're going in with a level playing field this time, and I'm gonna have to compete against all the other animals in the village. Hopefully they don't use any of the fish that I've given them in the past, because they always ask for fish. Now before we head to Town Square here, I'm gonna read a letter that I got, and also scare that walking... Oh, I guess I... Ooh, it just disappeared. Maybe it could teleport? Who knows? I don't know about bugs that much. There might be one that can do that. Okay, so let's pick some clovers, and then I want to read a letter that I got from Tangy. She actually sent me a present, so let's see what she has to say. Friend Adam, I bet you never expected to see a letter from me today, huh? Stars lose their power when they're predictable. You'll get more gifts when I feel like mixing things up. From Top Idol Tangy. Oh, man. She knows I'm a fan of her and her weird orange head. All right, what did she head, uh, give me here? A soccer tee. All right. I also have some letters that I wrote to some of the residents in Gustin. I look like Pele, that's cool colors there. Uh, I'm gonna put my other one back on though. <laughs> so I have some, some letters that I'll read as well while we're going around and trying to do some fishing, but I need to uh, get to those. I have a, a few presents. You guys, last time I uh, bought a witch's robe to give to Muffy, our newest resident, the little creepy gothic sheep girl. So we gotta send that to her and I'll read the letter to you guys. Let's check this if we're a pitfall. Nope, we're good. Almost stepped on that grasshopper there. Ooh, it must have rained, because there's a drilloid in the ground. And there's a familiar face in the background. It is Chip the Beaver. How you doing, buddy? I haven't seen him in a while. This is our first fishing tournament, so let's get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome. First fishing tournament, right? Uh, for this month's tourney, any kind of fish will do, really. Whoever catches the biggest fish is the winner. When you catch a fish, bring it to me and I'll measure it for you. Every time you break a first place record, I'll give you something good. Try your best to get first place. I'm accepting entrance until 6 p.m. If you're in the top three at 6 p.m., you'll be in the wart ceremony. So fish, 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 and fish while you're at it. Bring me all the fish you can. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, I should let you know, fish you give me are not returned. Nope, keep that in mind, okay? Well, good luck, try to catch a nice, big, juicy one, yuck. Okay, so just like with Nat in the bug catching tournament, any fish we give to our buddy Chip, he is just going to devour, which is kind of weird, because don't beavers eat wood and like plant life, I think. I don't think they really eat fish. So maybe he's like a little otter beaver hybrid or something. I don't know. Okay, so let's keep our eyes open. I'm going to do some fishing here. I'm also going to read those letters that I'm sending out. I like to fish on the bottom of a stream just because you can't really see with the forced perspective. It's hard to like see where the fish are otherwise, but hopefully we can get something good. Now, I was kind of expecting to have to catch bass in certain types of fish because I think some of the previous games, I've played all of them except for Wild World, but uh, I played City Folk, which is pretty much the same as Wild World, but in old games, uh, Chip would only accept bass, I think, in some of them. Like, it was more of a, like, bass tournament. But luckily, I think he says any type of fish will do. So let's try to just get... This is a little one, but we want to start small, because if we want to get that fishing set... There we go, first bite. If we want to get the fishing set, we need to give him kind of a uh, mulligan fish at first to just throw a couple of those out there, beat our record a couple times, and that's the way to get the set. We actually got all of the insect... Ooh, hello. Man, Apollo, you're... Or not Apollo. <laughs> I forgot your name there. It's not a... Apollo is the eagle guy. This is... Uh, jeez, what is his name? I don't want to distract him from... Well, maybe he'll tell me some tips about fishing. Avery, there we go. Man, I can't believe I forgot your name. Hmm. I think I'm gonna catch something really huge. Alright. He's got the... Ba <laughs> He's got baby Sparkle t-shirt on. I just realized I designed that... That uh, little baby from Adventure Time for Danielle to use for her town flag, because her town's called Sparkles, and uh, <laughs> she's the mayor of Sparkles, but yeah, she, uh, I, it, I put it as a t-shirt in, in our shop, so I guess Avery really liked it. There we go. That's why I mixed them up, because they're both A names. Here we are. I'm gonna steal this fish right out from that bird's nose. Man, I must be using some good bait, because they are biting immediately. Is that a bluegill? Looks like it. Nope. Yep. Those are fish that I've actually caught in real life. I've, unlike bug catching, I've done some fishing in real life, so should maybe come in handy. Not really. No one loves fishing more than I do. I forgot his voice. For a second. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I won't eat you. I promise. Ugh. It sounds even creepier when <laughs> I give Poppy that voice. But yeah, bug catching. I've you know I've done my fair share of turning over an old log 
finding pill bugs, potato bugs, or uh, crickets and stuff when I was little, but fishing is something I'd done a little bit more. My dad and I used to go fishing a lot, so caught my fair share of bluegills. Oop, I thought he was going to bite that time. I think they only nibble like three, four times max, so if you don't get it after a certain amount, they should always bite on that last one. Oh, I have this. There we go. Let's spread some weeds around town <laughs> and uh, make it even work. No, I don't think blowing on the dandelion actually makes it so you have to uh, get more weeds after. I hope not, at least. Ooh, is this the uh, famous mushroom? Let me see here. It is. If I eat that, I grow, but I'm actually going to save it and... Uh, well, what the heck? Let's just do it. If you guys haven't seen this before, if you eat the Mario mushroom, here we go. And it's gonna have a nice sound. <laughs> now, we, we smile at the end too. I, I had so last time I did that, someone told me to sell it because they're worth a lot. But I think it's funnier to just do it in a video, and you guys get to see if you've never seen that before. Because <laughs> a lot of the time, I don't think many players eat in Animal Crossing because you don't need to. It just has a nice little animation, like the coffee drinking. There's like, there's a lot of fun things in this game that you kind of just do, just to do, and, and enjoy the peacefulness of it. Man, this one is so small. We're not finding any big fish. But it's not raining, and it's, uh, it's also not in the evening or morning, which is usually when fish come out to feed. So we might not find anything huge. Jeez, it's barely in my hand there, a neon tetra. Alright, I'm going to try to rank these guys in my inventory and keep them straight because yeah, I need to start submitting them to Chip. But that one's so small, that would probably be a good one to start with. Because I think he goes by size and uh, a different like weight and stuff like that. But also, uh, I think the quality of the rarity of the fish, like even if it's a small fish, if it's rare, it might get a better ranking. So if it's anything like the bug contest, we'll find out though. It's just been a while since I've done one of these. Oh no. Okay, talk about doing uh, voices and remembering how to do them. Here's Robot. Adam, <laughs> let me... Ugh, jeez, this is tough to get into. Adam, let me show you a special technique for catching fish. Does he just stick his mouth in the water and just, like, opens it up? Oh, whoa, that was crazy. When I want to catch a fish, I just stare at the bobber and yell, Fish! <laughs> jeez, that voice is hard. Maybe we should... What do you guys think? Should we give Ribot a new voice because... That thing is, like, murder to try to do. I should just give him a, like, Mario, like, a flood voice. Because that sounds like a robot enough. I just figured I'd try to give him, like, a Microsoft Sam voice. But, yeah, half the time I can't even do it in one breath. So, I, I just wonder if uh, Ribot needs an upgrade. Some new firmware. There we go. This one's big, but it might just be a bass or something. Or a, what are they? It's the black bass is usually what pops up a lot. Yeah, there we go. But I think Chip likes bass. In a fishing tournament, bass are pretty good. Like... I mentioned uh, some of the older games, you just had to catch bass for the most part, so I, I, I think Chip will like that. I might rank that above my uh, little Crucian carp or whatever. Brofina! She's wearing my stripes! My little nest design there. What's going on? I hope you're taking this journey as seriously as I am. It's on, Dumpling! <laughs> she's taking it so seriously that she still calls me Dumpling. Alright, got another one here. Let's see if we can grab this. But yeah, it's, it's been so long since I've done any fishing in real life. I always feel kind of bad. When, when I start fishing, if I haven't done it in a long time, it's always tough to get used to uh, having to, you know, pull the hook out the fish. Like, it's not that nice towards the fish, but I usually let them... I don't think I very often kept any of the fish. I usually let them go because they'll be too small to keep, so as long as the fish is still living, then I don't feel too bad. All right, so let's just... Uh, I think that one... That would look like a pretty good size fish, but I don't want to rank it above my bass, just because I think the bass might be the best one so far. Ooh, there's another weed. We should... Ooh, I should have left that there, actually, because the dandelion, I can't, uh, you know, puff it away into the wind when it's in that form. Let's check the beach, because I think... Even though you think Chip would stick to the rivers and the lakes that he's used to, uh, <laughs> the beach has bigger fish, usually, so... Also, the thing I like the best about the beach is that I can run on it. I don't have to worry about any uh, any grass or anyone being mean to me about running on the paths. No, I'm the mayor, so I can run, but I can, it'll make Houston horrible looking with all these dirt paths. It, the path feature is kind of strange. Oh, a seahorse. Can we actually submit that into the contest? I don't know if he'll accept that. But it, yeah, the path making, I know why they put it in the game, that it like wears down when you walk. Because it's supposed to be like you walk a path, and like in real life, if it gets walked enough... It wears down, and you're supposed to make natural paths. But pretty much everyone seems to make pattern paths. Oop, a little bit too jump in the gun there. 
People like to make the little patterns and lay them on the ground, and then they run over that, but if you ever remove them, then your dark secret, your dirty shame of having the, the ground, you know, it doesn't keep the grass going. That's kind of a misconception, I think, with some people think that the patterns block the grass deterioration, but, but yeah, it's like, I, if I had a route that I always followed, maybe I would run along it and make a path, but I kind of like the look of the grass and just wandering through it. Whoa, is that a dab or a, yep, there we go. Oh, oh, that's new! <gasps> oh my gosh, that was actually something I needed to get, wow. Now, I haven't done as much fishing as I have done uh, the bug catching. Bug catching's just easier, the fishing you kind of have to time it right. Whereas the bug catching, you just creep up and there you go, Bob's your uncle. But yeah, I guess I, I missed the dab there. I only have a handful of stuff, I think I only have like four, ooh, jeez. I only have four bugs left before I have all of them, which is crazy. One of them I have to wait a little longer because I think the dung beetle doesn't come out until there's like snow to roll around. They didn't want to put poop in a Nintendo game <laughs> for a beetle to roll around. I guess understandably so. But uh, the the bugs, I'm almost done with those. I think the fish, I still have a few more here. I'm trying to gauge that right. Fishing's all about standing at the right spot so your rod automatically casts in the exact thing. Not like in, <laughs> in, re in real life you can cast different lengths, but you're always cast in the same length in this. Fishing is pretty simple in this game. Like, a lot of things are very simple in Animal Crossing, but it's still fun and relaxing. I think it has a good balance of things being relaxing as well as uh, just enough for of you, you know, having something to do where you uh, don't get bored and stuff a lot of the time. It's got a lot of things that you do a lot over and over, but that's part of the charm of it is just, like, improving your town, and you don't have to fully think about what you're doing. You can kind of go on autopilot on this game a little bit, and you can also uh, just relax. Um, you don't have to worry about a monster jumping out. Okay, drop some stuff off just to make my inventory a little lighter. Oh, it's my fisher friend. Catch something for me yet? Bye then, bye. Yuck, yuck. Oh, no. Once I've measured it, you won't get it back. You gonna be okay with that? Sure, check this out. All right, so we're gonna give him our neon tetra first. I won't show all of these little fish getting turned in since it takes a little while, but I wanted to show the first one. Okay, a neon tetra, right? Let's have a look here. Hmm, looks to be... Hmm, 75 inches. He, like, sneezed on it. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. It's not a new record. Well, can't all be gravy. By the way, the best entry so far, it's a sea bass caught by Ribot with a size of 36.90 inches. Try beating that. Jeez. Man, these neon tetras, I could eat these while juggling chainsaws. It's a bit risky for amateurs, though. Come to think of it, I have no idea why I'd want to juggle chainsaws while trying to eat. Oh, well, down the hatch for you. Oh, jeez. Nate does... Nate tucks it away and doesn't actually, like, say he's gonna eat it. Whoa, he just burped in my face. Anyway, go get fishing. Yuck, yuck. That's straight... Like, yeah, Nate is actually a little more like, I'll just save this for later, and he, like, licks his chops. Whereas Chip is just... He, it's brutal. He eats it right in front of you. Alright, so I, I guess I shouldn't waste a lot of these fish, because none of them are gonna be better than Ribot's uh, 36, almost 37 inch sea bass. And sea basses are really common though, so I might be able to catch a bigger one. I'm gonna go get rid of what I got here with my fish, and uh, we'll see if we can catch something bigger. Aha! So there's something huge. Okay. So let's try our best to catch this. It's probably sea bass, but I never thought I would want to catch a sea bass as much as I do now. Oh, there we go! Come on! Reel her in! What is it? Yep, it is a sea bass, and if it's over 37 inches or so... Nice! Alright, we got a winner. There we go. Yeah, sea bass are so common that I never thought I would really want to catch one. But, here we go. And it's kind of sad that Ribot, he calculated, you know, the odds of catching a fish and just locked one into his robot eyes and caught it so easily, and it was such a huge fish that I can't really, like, game the system to get more items from the fishing set. Just checking the beach one last time before we head up. But yeah, the, the fishing, usually with bug catching contests, I'll start with a really, you know, bad, like, paltry bug <laughs> and just throw that in there and uh, eventually we'll just kind of keep upping it until we get more items but we got to go straight into a big one here so let's do it I might actually head to the island after this but at least we can beat Ribot's record because yeah the island probably has a lot more stuff and it's funny that you, the fishing contest and the bug catching contest you can basically like have pet fish and bugs and just keep them in in real life maybe grow them bigger and then submit them into a contest you wouldn't even have to catch them day of Okay, a sea bass, right? Let's have a look here. Hmm, looks to be... 39.85 inches! Stop sneezing on me. It's a new record! Oh, wait, I guess he only cares about the length of it. He doesn't worry about, like, the, like, quality 
of its, you know, because a lot of fish are kind of ugly, <laughs> so he's not worried about the shine. All right, All right now you're in first place. That's a good place to be, don't you think? Man, this is pretty big for a sea bass. Mmm, yum yum, nyark nyark. I must say, when it comes down to it, sea bass are delicious, no matter how you prepare them. Hey, they're pretty good, even if you don't do anything to them. Yum. And there he goes. Jeez, it shrunk as he ate it. The sea bass is delicious. Burp. There we go. Now that's right. Let me give you a marine pop wall in honor of your new record. Great. There we go. We got the wallpaper for the fishing set. There's some good items in the, uh... Keep it up. Keep smashing those records. There's some good items in the fishing set. Like, there's a little octopus stool. There's squid chairs. A uh, red snapper couch. There's some cool ones. I don't know if I'm going to be able to collect the whole thing with the fishing tournament seeming a bit tougher than the uh, the other ones, the bug catching, but I'm going to try my best. And speaking of bug catching, let's try to get some of these grasshoppers while we're here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to head to the island maybe and cheat a little bit to get some bigger fish, and we'll see if we can win that fishing contest. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for some more Animal Crossing. New Leaf, get back here, grasshopper. Ugh. Thank you.